Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, so the wife I asked me, so I'm going to go back to my terminal. Now I'm going to use a tool called A Get Done. So now to get A Get Done, you know how to do your usual download sudo apt install A Get Done. So it's urge, I think it's yes, double D. Okay. Then enter your password. Okay, so you see it says I already have it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter into a garden now. A garden. So now this is some you should see it, something like this. This is something you should see okay, it's just fun. Okay, so now you see it will it detects your system, it detects your resolution set. You need root we need root permission for this. As you can see, root permission successfully did it there. So you need the root permission for this. You press enter. So now you have to check all the tools. So now, because this egg runs using all these different tools, you see some of I'll show you some of them. So now click enter. Okay, now. So whenever you want to pack a Wi Fi, you can't just you do it using your normal um, wireless interface. This is your Wi Fi. You have to put your laptop in something called monitor mode. So now with monitor we can be able to see other network and not like the way you are seeing Wi-Fi network but this one we can be able to see their DSSID, the channel, their own information about them that you cannot see in your normal mode. So now what we have to do is we we'll choose our wireless interface. Now this air get on this um sorry Wi-Fi account you need to get a wireless adapter to do this. I don't have wireless adapter yet. the reason being I'm not running Parrot, this parrot is not Kali. I'm not running Parrot on VirtualBox. I'm running, as you can see, I'm running DM Metal on, that, on my hard drive. I have two hard drive, one on Windows, one for Parrot. So if you have an hard drive, another hard drive, you can just download Parrot on it. Or, or if you still have your Windows, there's something called Dual Boot. If, if you're interested in that, I can tell you about that on later. It's dual Boot. So you can be running Kali and Windows, so if you shut down your system, you can put into Parrot, shut down stuff and put into Windows. Talk more about that. So now I'll continue. So normally on Parrot, I need to see WLAN 0, that's W L A N 0, but on my own is W L P 2 S 0. So I'm going to choose that as 3. See, it detects the chipset, that's why that's yeah, like the adapter of Intel. So I'm just going to choose 3 and enter. So now you can see what this bunch of interesting stuff so now as i told you we need to put it in monitor mode so i'm just going to choose to put the interface in monitor mode so i'm just going to enter and it says settings now if you move if you want to go to the top see your network has been disconnected it has been disconnected so i'm just going to choose enter now the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to move over to the I'm sorry and shake and she slash pmkid to so, you know, so if you choose i'm going to five enter so now we're going to change we're going to see explore for targets see two point two more images so explore for targets is okay let me just go enter and you understand what i'm saying enter so now you see you see this tab open now it's kind of connect to so watch as you can see watch. so okay that's discovered normally you can leave it for 10 that seconds 10 that seconds you see Hello, hello. Are you see some networks. So now, if you don't see any network, you can use your wireless adapter. You know that shown. Um, maybe no Wi-Fi. Nobody on the Wi-Fi in that area. So, but okay. But you can actually before you do this attack. Only, only did if you authorize that stop LX. That's my hotspot. So I'm hacking myself. Yes, you can only do it if you authorize. Don't hack anybody. Don't go and ask somebody Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, so now as I can run this, I just press Ctrl C. Sorry. Now if I press Ctrl C, it's gonna have okay now. Right. Now as you can see, truth that asterisk. Now said asterisk is network client. So as you can see, that my double LX it has a client and that's me. So I'm just gonna choose to enter. Okay, so now you can see it captured the BSS ID. You can see it captured the BSS ID. Now the BSS ID is something. Very important. The only thing that you, you is important. Very important. You need to know the BSSID of 
the wi fi they are hacking yeah, the wi fi they don't have so now let's go to capture and check now arm shake is just like arm shake is when you okay that all has been okay when uh when the wi fi is trying to connect to sorry turn the phone yes you want your phone wi fi i'm not pressing on the phone of so when the phone with the wi when the phone i want to connect you know the phone that on the wi-fi wants to connect to the phone that is giving the hotspot it's going to it's going to increase the password right so once you increase that password there's something called a four-way handshake it's an handshake actually so it's called an handshake that's where you authenticate the user and you allow the user to enter since the user already has the password so now if you capture okay what we are doing by capturing the handshake is now phone a that is giving the hotspot is giving us part of phone b right so now what we want to do is disconnect from b from phone a so when we disconnect from that's called the authentication so do not go and the authenticate somebody of their network <laughs> so once you deauthenticate from b from phone a i understand once you deauthenticate from b from phone a from b will automatically as our network is will automatically to connect back maybe manually or automatically and mostly automatically won't connect back to phone a once phone B is connecting back and we are in the middle like we are standing okay i already captured once it connects we are giving something called a handshake that's a four-way handshake is most mostly stored in a pickup file or a cap file now that four-way handshake is actually an encrypted password so we have to crack it do you understand so now let's go to c let's go to um let me type c enter enter so mostly we're going to use so mostly i always use the the authentic the odd airplay attack okay so and enter so it's your timeout so timeout is like the amount of time you should give before it's just quit so a longer timeout means a longer period and a long and a higher chance of capturing the um, what they call it the handshake so i'm just going to write 20 okay 20 is default already enter to accept it. so 20 is default enter and i'm going to enter okay and it's already sending the authentication packet as you can see okay i go into the authenticate the phone please okay let's stop let's up let's up let's up let's up come on come on paper okay 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 i just opened the authenticate the phone is actually i connected my phone hotspot to so my mom phone so i hope the internet gets a phone oh we said it failed okay so i'm going to try and bring a phone closer let me see i don't want, i want it to be long well, i should have done it longer within period yes it got the internet because when i picked up the phone I, my wife was not connected so i'm just going to do it again so let's see i'm going to do it and turn and enter ah okay okay so i'm i'm only my mom soon so immediately the authenticated app because i see the wi-fi is disconnected immediately the authenticated app oh we captured it bro come on it said okay 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 so it has captured the answer so it said type the path to store the answer so i can just press enter so it stores in roots that's roots and shape blah 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 so if i go to my search downloads and go to my desktop all system actually so i go to roots i should be able to see the handshake yeah these are handshake so now let me just open this so you can basically understand okay sorry i think how should I have on this now? So maybe Vim could Vim can open this. Uh, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to make this in a room. I'm trying to make this in short so you can see. So a bunch of random so it's just encrypted actually. So okay. So now what you're gonna do is just I'm going to now Okay, let me press enter. So now we've captured the we've captured the stuff, right? So I'm just gonna go back to my main main menu. So now I'm going to go to offline wpa wpa to decrypt menu because now we don't need to sorry zero we're going to be now be cracking the password so i'm going to say one this is mwpa to personal 
most times always double pay two personal person every personal so now i'm going to write one so you can see 12 the dictionary attack against the handshake aircraft blah, blah, blah. i'm going to choose one actually so now it says do you want to use this already captured file yes then the file we've captured he said yes bssid now enter the path to the dictionary to the dictionary file so now dictionary file is like a password list so now let's let me show you how to create one quickly now normally you have the rocky dot txt which is it contain like hundreds of millions of password yeah hundreds of millions of password but 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 as you know us nigeria where you use color they have one one tilka you man most times the part the, the rocky dot txt city i extracted it to my deck so contains what oh, is some um, it actually contains words like all those okay all those normal english words so you see it's taking time because it's millions of passwords like i can't even scroll down see so if you are just like you cannot see cannot see one nigerian name yes so nigerian <laughs> Yes, I said the person is a simple password. Except the person is a simple password. That's that's going to be easy. That's going to be easy to do. Okay, to get up. So now I'm going to show you how to create a quick password list. Now so I'm just going to write, um, come here, create documents, create an ent a text. Let's create a text file. I'm not going to name it pass. I think I've created one before. Yeah. Okay, I have something like that. Okay, what is let me just click let me just turn this one to pass WL. I don't know why. Let's just turn, let me check what's inside the pass. I think I'll turn it. Let's check what's inside the pass. Um okay. Some random one gun random words. Did I do this? Okay, let's use this actually. I think I prefer this because my password is already there. I think it's um, oh well, what did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just write inside the Okay, 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 come on. Inside, sorry, escape. Then shift, shift colon, WQ. Enter. Okay, so now I'm going to go open my this, this terminal, right? So let me go and minimal and reduce the size. Scroll up. So now, oh, sorry. Sorry. Make it strong. So once I drag the part, this right here actually just drag it over right so let's click enter it says start decrypting blah 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 oh yeah wasn't it it's too, it was too fast it was too fast nah it's just too fast but actually you can see what did they do it wrote key found on um, my path of this yeah of course aka virus <laughs> so it said key found aka virus blah 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 enter so it said do you want to save the trophy blah 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 no no i'm not doing